What's Rodriguez's kind? <laughs> the Rizzler <laughs> himself. <laughs> Nah, that guy should have to do butt stuff. Right? He has about a sad journey. Right. Bad. <laughs> I'm just like, so the gays again. How does he know about the 1950s? Hey! hey. What up, everybody? It's the Normies, and we're back to watch Samurai Shampoo. We're going to be watching 11 and 12 in this video, so if you yeah. think it's longer than usual, there's a reason. Stick around. Uh, we're going to watch the episode of a short discussion, then take a quick break, and then we'll be back for 12. Yes. And uh, here Indeed. we are. Episode 11, Gamblers and Gallantry. Gallantry. Does anybody realize how much gambling is in this show? Is gambling a gallant? Is it a gallant? Even in the intro, when he pulls out his sword, a bunch of dice come out. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a bunch of die. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, no, no, dice is plural. Or is no, it dice die. singular? Die is plural. Dice. 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 A set of dice. Como se dice. Yeah, yeah, a set of die. A set of die. Como se llamas. I don't know. Hey. Here's what Dice's. you should do. Dyson Sphere. Uh, not a market <laughs> substitute. Support the LG content. I'm not even going to do the whole thing. You guys know that. Is gambling a gentleman's game? We're not even going to do names today because fuck it. Oh, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Mickey. Psh, they don't even need to know. I'm Spidey. Uh, Y'all know That's me. all you need to know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm Chris. <laughs> oh, commence the jiggling. Genial. But we are. You're telling us to do what you know we are already doing. It's kind of wild. It'd be wild. No, it'd like, be it, even cooler if they just sent you stuff in the mail and it was like, you should be watching. No, it's like, it's cocky and condescending. It's like, you should, should, yeah, should, yeah, should be watching. Should. Yeah. Good that you're here. Good that you're here. You should be. Is wallpaper coming back? Did it ever leave? Uh, it no, it didn't leave. So in that way, it's not coming back. It's still here. <laughs> so I, It yeah. really helps to protect your walls. What technological innovations have happened in the wallpaper industry? With yeah, but we need a sprunger. What the fuck is a sprunger? I've never even heard of that. You just made it up. It's like a left-handed reason. Shimoy Gusa Shamplus. <laughs> Gamblers and gallantry. Sounds like a nice, like, bar. Oh. Hey, it's that face that Hunter draws. That's also no. on the back of Paku. Yeah. All right, fool. The order's up. It's a hat and an umbrella. A umbrella, if you will? Hmm. Pardon me for intruding. This canal is not as deep as it appears. If you'd like to drown yourself. It would be wise to choose another location. Okay. How did? Oh, gee, my goodness, it must have looked like I'm terribly sad to you. I wouldn't put myself through something that painful. Thank you for the warning. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Damn. You hit her with you should smile more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you did. These giant stag beetles. Let's go. <laughs> or are they normal? <laughs> uh, they're normal stag beetles. <laughs> Bro! Oh, uh, Interference! Yeah, Collusion! Up. Oh, great! You're here for the part time job, right? Like, Not at all. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't stress it. With all this rain, business is going to be totally dead. Bro! Oh, wait. What do we do here? <laughs> what do you sell? Do yeah, do how do I keep the eels alive? <laughs> how do... Yeah, nah. Where's the register? Eel sushi, please. Oh, my. Eel sushi. Aren't you the samurai from earlier? Well, she asked, she asked for a grill. So you work as an unagi vendor? I want that feisty little guy right in the middle. This eel is shockingly good. It's a slippery fella. Ah! Mugen and fish. Mm. Jin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You've got to anticipate their moves. Oh god. She's a fighter. No. An eel's like a good woman. Okay. If you try to hang on to them by force, they'll only run away. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You're asking for bad luck if you just start hacking away at it. Okay, so now she got a job. We don't have that right many. Like, we only had three. I'm hitting that guy when he comes back. Damn, I wonder how it tastes though. Probably, probably fire. Literally saw some eel yesterday. Thought about getting it. I just went out for a walk and ended up working. Allow me to cook one for you. I think I learned. Get the little nail through the old head brain. He's about to take his fucking samurai sword to it. It seems wildly impractical. <laughs> My, when you cook something, oh God. make sure it's well cooked. <laughs> He's getting there. With a little, little char, you know? Nothing. See, Caddy, when someone burns toast for you, you just eat it. <laughs> no. Your cooking is really quite amazing. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is the worst thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> so bad it's impressive. Thank you. I'm sure I'll have some wonderful memories from this. Bye. You forgot your umbrella. Tomorrow morning. I start working in a brothel, so this is really my last day to walk around freely. 
That's so sad. My husband fell into debt, and I'm the only collateral we have. Damn. <laughs> Student loans. <baby>. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? So start tripping for the government. <laughs> Fanny Mae said. Jean. She's just walking in the rain. Jean. Oh this thing has got it trading. <laughs> Come on now, put your back into it, buddy. Patrick, your snail's a rock. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm training him. <laughs> yeah, I don't Aren't know. Are you if... gonna take a job as a bodyguard? I don't know if that's yeah, how it works, man. Send me making a shitload of cash with this bad boy. You are such a jerk. Get a job. What? He's got a job. He's got prospects. <laughs> Sumo beetle wrestling. Excuse me. You came all the way here just to return this. Small yes, town. All right. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's just around the but corner. <laughs> Seven like steps. We're on the same street. It could rain for days on end, and it won't be of any significance to me. God. You know, if you'd like to, you're welcome to keep it for yourself. You're completely soaked. Oh. I know that's right. Gene, do something. Johanna, you've got a customer. Tell me what your name is. My name is Marla. Sheila. I won't be needing that anymore either. Tell me yours. It's Jean. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, let's go. You gotta put like a little red mark on the back of yours, right? This is kind of hype, though, right? Rhino Anime Beetles part. are pretty entertaining to watch. Mm. Do it, Rodriguez, take it down. They Rodriguez. do be doing some wrestling shit. <laughs> Toss his ass. Yeah. Let's go, Rodriguez. What's Rodriguez's cut? <laughs> All the dung he can eat. I don't know what <laughs> these big beetles eat, but I hope it's not poop. Nah, I just wanted to stare for a bit. You came here for a woman, then? I came here for you. I'm sorry. My time is not my own now. Please don't come here again. Mm -hmm. Have you spotted a girl that strikes your fancy? We have some I'm beautiful... Broke. Hey, buddy, we ain't running this business just so poor samurai can have some free eye candy. Come back with some cash. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Get lost. That was Gene is sad. Yes. He had a cool little job, and he met himself a pretty little lady. Fucked it all up. He thought about it. He went for the sword for a second. <laughs> he feels helpless. Ugh. Gross. Because your husband's dead? What kind of fucking world is this? Isn't this technically sex work? Yeah, but it's because, uh... Well, but it's she, forced. Yeah. It's not by choice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's slavery. forced prostitution. Yeah, it is slavery. But also, it was, she said she had to do it because her husband got into too much debt. So, like, yeah. that's wild. And she didn't have a choice on getting married either. So say now. Well, after we pay back the guy for letting us stay here. Oh, I'm an abacus. That happens to be my seed money to make more cash. Gene, what happened? How'd you get all beat up? I fell in love. <laughs> You've got money. When did you... Hey, it was my bug who won that match. <laughs> Let me have it. That's one of those me alpha head pieces. What do you want it for? A woman. I need to buy a woman. Huh? <laughs> like, no! no! Uh, uh, no Rodriguez said, what the fuck? Again for another ass whooping, huh? Got a thing for getting yourself beat up? Please come in. Ask <laughs> Gohanna who you'd like for the evening. Um, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you for your swords. Do you really think he's gonna go buy some more? Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Pulling this one <laughs> rock. No, he was getting suspicious. You ever seen him check out a girl? That's a pretty good Chinese square. <laughs> <laughs> Rodri is just gonna get crushed. I'm actually kind of worried about that too. Get is why he thinks he needs another woman when he's got me around. What, you saying you want to be his main squeeze? That's not what I said. You got the figure of a wood plank. Damn. <laughs> he's on your top. Damn! Show me what you got then. Brace yourself because it's an eyeball. I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> what in the world would lead you to believe I'm jealous? Your mannerisms. <laughs> Right, he went actually to sleep. You said you were talking to my back. Gene is sad. Yeah, I just want to kick it with you for a bit. Can we like play PlayStation or something? Can we just sit? But you're paying a whole lot of money just to sit here. Well, my Unagi stand friend, will this rain ever stop? That's not my stand. I'm traveling and I'm trying to earn enough money for lodgings. I've been held up in this city for a while due to the rain. So as soon as it stops raining, you'll leave. Yeah. I hope that the rain never stop. Okay. Aww. Aww. <laughs> little poetry. I'll be able to stay here forever. You don't have that kind of money, my boy. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be a joke. He's got wanderlust. it's just that nobody talks like that anymore. This must be difficult for you. When I'm really sad, I find that that's when I tend to laugh the most. Mm. 
My only customer today was a samurai who wears glasses. He seems to have this thing for Kahana. Her husband's such a loser. He had to sell his wife to get out of debt. Guess that's what happens when it's illegal for you to divorce your husband. You get Damn. This shit's crazy. Nah, that guy should have to do butt stuff. Right? Like, right? Like, <laughs> people are like, why do you have a wife? He's like, that's a down payment. Like, for what? He's like, I don't even know Just yet. Just in case. <laughs> Be honest. So he's debt free now, out here living. <laughs> right? Yeah, he out like, here. <laughs> yeah, like, he about to come visit other women at the brothel. Bro, no. He's at the beetle fight. <laughs> he's gonna kill everybody here. My parents. Yeah. All right. Well. But my husband had a gambling problem, and soon he'd amassed a massive amount of debt. Gamblers and gallantry. Mm. He's the gallantry. Mm -hmm. It's nothing more than a daydream. I beg your pardon, sir, but Kohana, you have a visitor. Unfortunately, our fantasy time is over. Oh, come on, have a heart, Shino. Spot me a little bit. You don't really believe that I have money, do you? Is that the husband? Hey, no, this man's wild. Bitch. Why don't you deal with your gambling problem? Who's the husband? Living. Why? What did you say? <laughs> well. What? Excuse me, you sold me. I'm no longer your property. Why? You want to leave me? Oh my God! Take his hand, Jen. I don't feel like cutting you loose yet. You did. You sold her. Bro. What the? You son of a bitch. Absolutely do butt stuff to you. I can do whatever the hell I want to her. No, let him go. Crack a rib. Gene, you gotta get the fuck out of here, dog. This place is bad news for you. Bitch, I'm gonna bleed you dry for the rest of your life. I could go bleed him dry. He slipped and fell mm. on my sword like 10 times. <laughs> Crazy. She was wild. Should have seen it. Right? I tried to stop him, but, you know, <laughs> physics. Where are you going? Back to that Kohana lady? <laughs> nope. Shut up. I mean, you're not going to stand here and tell me that you're actually in love with this woman, are you? If for some reason I'm unable to make it back, I want the two of you to continue on. If you leave, I won't speak <laughs> to you again. Listen. <clears throat> well, that's <clears throat> how it Come works. How can you do this? You promised me. I don't think you've seen this woman. <laughs> QT pain. I'm in love with Bro. people. <laughs> they both keep having their little side missions that are wildly fun or wildly sad. We're leaving now. Huh? They'll hunt me down until they find me. There's a shelter for women like you across the river. I'll be a prisoner there too. You have to stay there for three years. You and I won't be able to see each other either. I'd much rather spend my time here waiting for you. Oh, God. I met you on the bridge that day. You were planning to kill yourself, weren't you? Obviously. Your life. Mm. If you hadn't have come by when you did, I know that right now I'd be. My apologies for interrupting you, sir. But your time with Kohan. But it's it's been a it's a, quite a long time. Take an extension. <sighs> Take your time, sir. I'll be waiting for you below. Uh, about that extension fee. <clears throat> hey, what do you think you're doing? You're not going anywhere, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I got you, babe. Bro, look at him out here. <laughs> the Rizzler himself. I, you know, you don't want to Google. I am Google so to scared. I feel like this is going to have a sad, sad end. Yep. You don't want to Google to see if this was really how things were, but like, you just know it. Well, if you watch Shogun. I want to know for sure. Wow, we don't have swords. Oh, shit. Do we need them? I thought you said things between you two were over. Oh, shut up and hurry. <laughs> Hey man. <laughs> right after the fifth yeah. one. Hey dog. Leave. <laughs> it's gonna be enough for me, big dog. Shoot. I'm the, no, leave. Gang gang. Right? Are we, we having a fourth now? Is that what's happening? We gotta get her across the river so she can get to the house for women who've been sold into sex slavery. Brother. You loser. Are you oh, trying I'm to glad die? you're here? Oh, throw him in the river with rocks attached to him. <laughs> You've made this easy for me. <laughs> he tripped and fell into the river. It was weird. I am taking back my life right here and now. That's what it costs to free the woman who used to be your wife. She's getting away! Oh, Dean. Oh. Mm. Plus 100 rich. Throw that guy in the river. Put some rocks in his pocket. Right. It was weird. He came oh, out of here and didn't come back. <laughs> But I mean, like, romantic. that's not that far away. Won't they just like go after? <laughs> you <No>. idiots! <laughs> what? Okay. Well, apparently it's like a sanctuary, so maybe they got some deal. Maybe they got their own guards. Maybe they're untouchable. Who knows? Maybe they're all trained <clears throat> Kyoshi warriors. Oh my god! I shipped them. Ah, the rain finally stopped. Just gotta move on. 
Jen's like, I'm a gangster, so I don't cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was so sad. What a sweet, sweet boy. I did not expect this. I knew that was a good one. He said, listen, if I don't make it back, <laughs> come on without me. So where you go? I said, Mugen leaves for fights for men. I leave for other shit. <laughs> <laughs> If I don't make it back, don't remarry. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Hey. Wow. Gene absolutely handled business 100% on a yeah. very, very sad little story. I love that, that in the end they came to back him up. Yeah. Even though they were like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like my brain at the beginning of this episode and getting in the story could not fathom the thought of the husband coming back for anything. <laughs> right? What the he fuck? He told her. Like, that's it. Like, you, you're you done. Yeah. <laughs> so, in Shogun, like, the wives are miserable. And they're our property. Mm. And they're literally, like, asking their husband, like, hey, can I come in seppuku? And they're like, no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> can I kill myself? Oh, absolutely not. Who's going to take care of the kids and do the dishes, baby? Because it ain't going to be fucking me. Let me tell you that. You can't do it because yeah, I'm not cleaning. Because I'm not going to... Who's going to... If you did seppuku, who's going to clean up your dead body? Because it obviously will not be me. Now I got to go get another wife. Right? What? You can't clean it up yourself, then don't do it. I, it's wild that you had to act. Like, God. Yeah, well, yeah, it's... The concept crazy. of, like... I, I just women are property. I know in this society at that time, unfortunately. But like, ah, uh, it's as okay. So this is gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say like four things here. Let me work this thought out before I finish. Mm. Slavery, in the American sense, at least kind of made sense because you're like I'm shitty towards these slave people. It's not like oh yeah, like this is the person that I have intimate times with that I also maybe share secrets with, but also that bitch is just a wallet to me. That I put my dick in. Like that one well, feels a little more. I don't think that's a love up? relationship, though. Oh, well. Like it's not. It's it's very transactional. You're putting emotions into something that's not uh, an emotional relationship. Yeah, and I know people have relationships with their slaves too. Like I mean, like sexual ones that were also like real bad. But I'm just I don't know. I guess it'd be like I don't know. It's like yeah, it's very transactional, but it's transactional with like the mother of your potential kids i assume if y'all are married you know what i mean like that feels yeah, it's weird somehow that you, it feels worse it's weird that you look at that person as lesser basically and treat them that way yeah, yeah. it is also like one i want to know how much his debt was not that it matters but I like what's the price you want to go and price yeah like, wife, what right? was the Obviously. price for for my wife for you guys to have her in the brothel like and like, he's got a gambling problem so he'll just do it again like, like, and apparently we're things. still married <laughs> that's right <laughs> like, I thought when he sold her, that's it. It's done and he's got no more debt. That Man is just, what I would assume. Right. Man yeah. is still gambling with the same people. Oh, in the same town. <laughs> Wild. Wild business. Oh, my God. She's yeah. just... Yeah, I'll give you about 350 Yeah. <laughs> 350 So, yeah, it started off kind of heavy with Gene catching her at the uh, bridge. And being like, yeah, the water's not deep enough for what you think about going. She was <laughs> like, no. Just, just and kidding. that eel stand guy is just... Very trusting. Yeah, what was up with that? He didn't come back. <laughs> he was like, you're here for the job? All right, I'm out. You got it? All right, sick. <laughs> Thank you. you know, he posted that shit on Indeed. No, he was like, it's I, raining. I'm going to take a break. It's on Indeed. <laughs> yeah. <Damn. clears throat> without without a girl's help, Gene would have absolutely burned that stand down. Oh, absolutely. He didn't know how to catch one eel. And he's about to hit it with his, like, just the <laughs> amount of space in the... You can't take a katana to an eel, right? He, he said, like, I can do this. <laughs> so can do, she was like, no, nah, slow the fuck up. I see where this is going. Um, it, super cute story, but like, yeah, like deeply sad. God. Very yeah. sad. And it was. I'm yeah. glad he got her off of there. Also, if I'm a bad guy and I see seven get dropped by hand. Yeah. Stepping back. I'm out. Like, Stepping I'm, I'm going to yeah. hide. Fade to dark, my boy. You're right. I'm a villain. I'm not... <laughs> A fucking hero. I have <laughs> right. nothing in my heart where I'm trying to prove shit. I see, mm-hmm. oh, that dude took out seven people. I stepped the fuck back. Mm-hmm. When the boss was like, why didn't you step up? I'm like, listen, you need somebody to train all the other idiots you have to replace <laughs> after he didn't KO. Fucking, those guys are going to have concussions. They're not going to know how to hold their sword right, bro. You like, can't even say the alphabet no more, man. Right? It wasn't yeah. an impenetrable vault. <laughs> <laughs> Before he got the swords, when he got the swords, it was light work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's solid. It's, it really sucks. Yeah. But yeah. Women. In an alternate universe, if you wanted to, if you had too much debt and you wanted to sell your husband into sex slavery, I think that it wouldn't work the same. Because I yeah. feel like 
you know, dudes for sex slavery really be like, I don't know, like a lot of women aren't showing up for that, right? I don't like know. The dude brothel, I feel like, is mostly empty saying, or full of other dudes. Are you saying that the value of male body is less? We keep giving it away for free, so we really tank their own market. I oh, do no. Think, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. the value of male body is definitely in the zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a lot of older women for a lot of younger older brothels. women, yeah, well, yeah, the like older it's a exclusively be... pegging brothel. <laughs> oh my god, I think if we're talking about selling human beings, yeah. men would be probably sold into like militaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd be all yeah, it wouldn't be fun. Well, I was gonna say fun sex work. It it's not fun for <laughs> women. I know it's not. That's why I didn't finish saying the sentence. But mm-hmm. you know, in my mind, it's like snoo snoo, right? Like. I have to work at this brothel and I do push-ups all day and these beautiful women come by and they're like, bro, beat it out the frame. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I don't even smoke, but I'm smoking now. <laughs> and then, you know, you beat it out the frame, you get three hot meals and you get a little bit of money and it's, and, you know, that's the male fantasy version of that, but that's not how it is. No. It's all grandmas and a bunch of grandpas <laughs> or they're like, hey, I want to buy this dude so you can tin the fields. Like, hey, that's it? Not what we yeah. saw Deuce Bigelow. Right. <laughs> I used to uh, when I was I was a janitor at some point when I was like eighteen, and my boss was this old black dude named Nate, and Nate would always be like, "Boy, you super strong. I'd trade two, three slaves for you." And I don't know <gasps> what if he Man, thought it was a compliment, a compliment <laughs> but it's the kind of shit you get to hear from old black it's folks. It's not yeah. what you say. <laughs> it's not. It is not. Well, uh, let's jump into the next one after the break. We'll see you guys at the next one after the break. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tokyo Treats is a monthly subscription snack package that you get straight from Japan. There's something for everyone to try and it's worth trying at least one time. It is beautiful. You gotta put your dogs away, you gotta put your pets away, you gotta tell your family and friends to leave you alone. Grab a box of Tokyo treats and just, oh my god, just just sink in. Use the discount code the normies to get five dollars off your first box. Five dollars off your first box. If I had to describe this whole experience in one word, delicious. Delightful. Golly. Uh this is really good. This is like really, really good. Support the normies and support your bellies. All right, back to the show. And we are back. This time it is Disorder Diaries 1 and 12. We what? about to what? get into what? it. What? Like like Gene got into that lady. Mm-hmm. Or Damn, did he? he did. Yeah, they were laying around all naked. I mean, oh, yeah. we got paid for the time and she was into it. So it, it worked out. It was beautiful. I hope uh, she will be living a happy life. Mm, I hope we see her later. In the, in the yeah. little women's sanctuary. Right. It would be cool if she became like a Kyoshi warrior for... Comes back to the last episode and right. saves him from some shit. Do you know who I am? Pulls down the mask. <laughs> Do you recognize these eyes? And she blood bends him. <laughs> so it's just the coldest guitar has ever been. Once you have had this baby, we're going to get out there. You can come play soccer with me. We'll do running. Yeah. Who will watch the baby, you ask? The cat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One of them's not going to make it. But he's going to be like, all right, no, this is outside. Shit's a little wild out here, but right. you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. We come back and her and Buddy are just running the house. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they started a brothel. <laughs> if our daughter's pimping out our cat to the other cat, <laughs> the I feel like the only thing we're going to get paid in is dead mice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you a fool for this one. I want to be there. <clears throat> I would like saying, never leave this location. Stop it and think about it. We really don't know jack shit about this sunflower, dude, do we? That's true. Oh, man. Story yeah, episode? Remember that one mm-hmm. time? <laughs> <laughs> who is this samurai who smells of sunflowers? Well, His name is Dave. So what do they smell like? Do you have any other leads? Like a picture or something? Makes you think he's around here. Ah! You ever notice she gets all weaselly when we bring that stuff up? Hmm. Now she expects us to go all the way to Nagasaki. Just in case you guys forgot the story, because I think that they did. So we're just supposed to believe this idiot and go all the way there? I mean, what else are you guys going to do? Doubt his information would be unreliable. There's no way in hell she doesn't know more than she's letting on. That little tramp is hiding something from us. Mm. Little trollop. Okay, While well, she's busy taking a bath, I'm going to snoop around a little. I would never leave this place. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, can't read. 
<laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like a diary. There's got to be some information about that sunflower dude in there somewhere. Read it to me, you mook. It's been almost a year now since mom died. Aw, she just wants myself, friends. I don't want to forget this journey, and so I decided that starting today, I'm going to keep this diary until I find the samurai who smells of sunflowers. I have now filled out the very first page. <laughs> oh no. I have to admit that the tea house burning down helped motivate me. Recap episode? Mm -hmm. I think there's actual information in it. The fire was caused by a couple of crazy guys. Ben? <laughs> I mean, the she's not wrong. The first one to come into the tea house was a crude and vulgar guy with wild hair. The second I saw him, I thought he was a bad guy. Aww. What? Of course, once I talked to him, I realized I was absolutely right. <laughs> Shut up, you little bitch! You're shouting. <laughs> <laughs> once he got started, he didn't know when to stop. I mean, he totally went overboard. In the middle of all this, another man appeared. You talking about you now? I actually thought he was kind of attractive. Not like the first one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Once the new guy, they don't seem at all alike. That shit went Maybe hard. deep down, they're two of a kind. How rude. Don't compare <laughs> me to a guy like him. <laughs> one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I had set out on my journey with these two attendants. The end. <laughs> showed up saying something about Mugen cutting his arm. Oh, yeah. And so all of a sudden, I'm this guy's hostage. Well, I was a little drunk at the time, so I don't remember too much. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very brief. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. buttered. I had another rotten day today because of those two. It all started when they ditched me and ran away. They split so, up. Yeah. To that, I ended up in a whorehouse this time. Whorehouse. A was about to have his a whore. But thanks to an old fortune teller's advice, I was saved. I would be aware of vases if I were you. The vase? It's like a little vase. Out of the blue, I was kidnapped and held prisoner. You can have huh. a lot, huh? Don't you think my life is a little too eventful? I'm really starting to think that I may have picked the wrong guys. <laughs> oh, that's a pain. I drop porn. I don't know what I ever saw in that guy. It'd be like that. What the fuck? Nice <laughs> yeah, that mess was definitely all their fault too. He said that he was going to get on a ship and go to Holland, but I wonder what ever happened to him. He died. <laughs> he, meaning more noble, he should have <laughs> nice. was caught even before he had a chance to leave port <laughs> and never made it. To <laughs> There was no way she could have known that the man she met that day would be recognized by future generations as the father of ukiyo-e pain. <laughs> Talent and character Fucking are often goofy. discovered in inverse proportion. <laughs> that is so funny. That's very true. Like, what the hell were we even doing going to Edo anyway? No idea. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah, the fly. I might have to go Contest. without food again after this, so I ate enough to tide me over. Is she an animal? Oh my god, just stop talking about food! I hear lots of people say there's always room for dessert, but in my case, I think it should be something more like there's always room for free food. I wonder if everybody's like that. I, feel that. I mean, porky. you know, not porky. I can't handle myself at a buffet. The end. The end. <laughs> the moment she's right about so far is food. It's like half the show. It's just a journal. I pretty much figure it's the wrong I got the double back. Because I'd heard rumors that he was here. Bitch. <laughs> she dragged us there because of a stupid rumor? I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him! <laughs> we need to do that for all of our <laughs> Normal. You're taking hostage as much as me. Oh my god. To top it off, my wallet got Oh, sore. he died. I dreamed about mom last night. So much has happened to me on this journey that I haven't had any time to miss her. Oh. It's hard for me to find the right words to write about Shinsuke. I just couldn't bring myself to say anything to his mother. Shinsuke off the top rope, oh my god. You guys have had a sad journey. It is different. Right. Bad. Not impossible for anyone to predict <laughs> what the This is a prediction of the lives of people in the future, taken from Mudaiki. Predicting the future is something of a tricky business. What the hell were they thinking with those dumbass hairstyles? <laughs> We left Edo and started out for Nagasaki. They just keep they going around in circles. All right, I've seen that same bridge every time. At least we managed, but then those two went crawling away after some older woman. It's not like I'm jealous or anything. It's just that it makes things a lot more difficult when my bodyguards don't carry out their duties. They almost died well, off the ship. Kind of Look, sexy. man, sometimes you gotta she get honey potted. Like hooters. <laughs> hooters. I got hit on today too. Although, admittedly, the guy didn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, yeah, fucking Johnny Bravo. Yeah. This dude would drop beats for him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be big, my name is 
In the end, we picked up a little money with the street performance and we were able to leave Edo. We're supposed to be looking for the samurai who smells of sunflowers, but we always end up spending all our time scrounging up enough money to survive. The pear was yummy. There's been a recent uproar over rampant sexuality in the country's youth. However, what the hell? keep in mind the Japanese people had a rather open-minded view of sexuality, and it was especially liberal during the Edo oh. period. They uh, only became prudish in the Meiji era after the influx of Western culture. This is how we got him done. So the you'll discover that Japan's Edo period can be placed right alongside the civilization of ancient Greece, and that it was an era in which gay love I'm going to say it's gay love everywhere. was considered Days a more were noble fucking. pursuit than heterosexuality. Please forgive my extremely delayed introduction. My yeah, who the fuck are you? Remember? The saw. Oh. I'm an officer with a secret police. Oh, and my God. I fight night and day in the name of peace. All right. All right. Okay. We finally left Ed hey, we're all caught up. Yeah. Ponto checkpoint when we got conned by a scalper. It seems like I've been scammed a lot since I started on this journey. Oh, am I too naive? Yeah. 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 Am I yeah. you problem? Yep. 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 Right. Calm denominator. Am I the drama? Of course, the worst part of it all is that jerk Mugen. What kind of rescuer ends up needing to be rescued? I finally decided Baked. never to trust him again. <laughs> yeah, well, that suits me just fine. By the way, he I spent a lot of time. I guess that was the first time I'd ever spent any time alone with him. Hmm. He didn't say a word. He said. He said. Hmm. We're finally going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. <laughs> but Gene kept his mouth shut the whole time. <laughs> All I could get out of him was a hmm. Does he hate me or something? Oh. It's kind of sad, really. The end. <laughs> Stop it. Man to man, what do you really think of her anyway? This guy's hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> The 1950s, okay. San Francisco, California. <laughs> how are we jumping? How do, I just like so the gays again. How does he know about the 1950s? They turned away from civilized society, tripped on psychedelic music, expanded their minds, and searched for true freedom. Hell yeah! It is said that among the hippies, there were those who approached Zen as a counterculture. Hell yeah! Maybe he's a time traveler. Starting today, so he knows about we'll the future and the past. I've been working hard since the crack of dawn again today. Boy, my Are we going to find out anything about the samurai? I don't think so. What? <laughs> I don't feel. I don't believe so. His name Shampoo. I think is what we find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, me, hey. Look, he's just a samurai that smells like sunflowers. Because freedom cannot be forced into existence, nor can it be won through painful <laughs> struggle. Freedom cannot be bought or sold. Freedom is a vibe, dude. In order for you to accept yourself as you are and live with your soul at peace. You must simply teach yourself to let it be. Only then will you discover freedom. Mm hmm. Those idiots. I heard a lot that. Of terrible things happen to me lately, and it's all because of them. Did I pick the right two men to go with me on this journey? All encounters happen but once in a lifetime. Ooh. For better or worse, whatever the outcome of your journey may be. This guy's wise as fuck. Hey, Master Chrome. Right. I'm looking to make Chrome, Chrome stronger Dome. here. You got any brilliant ideas? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just profound. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you need to learn discipline. You figured it out, didn't you? You haven't forgotten your promise, have you? Don't forget, you said you'd help me find him. What's his name? Jeremy. I shall be the one who gets to slay you. Looking back, slay, slay, queen. Slay, queen. Maybe it's like Father Zuiko says. I have no idea what stands between here and Nagasaki. I just hope the three of us can keep traveling together to the very end. Mm. I'm positive that those two are thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make up other people's minds for them. Mm. Just kidding. I figured those two might try and get a peek at my diary without asking. So I decided to make all that stuff up. Uh, <laughs> Serves you right, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't even know they activated her trap That's card. So funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. Bottle That's episode. Good. I forgot I like there was that. a clip episode completely, but and we did mix in some future talk. I mean, they, yeah. they threw in a couple of little tidbits that weren't in the other episodes. Some future shit that was impossible to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in this time called the 1950s. <laughs> it was like, by the way, also. <laughs> There will be a hippie movement. Have you ever heard of LSD? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Damn. Vietnam. 
another good one. But I do think, God, it's like the first time I've tried to organize my Disorder thoughts. Disorder Diaries show. is such a funny name. Um, right. Yeah. I, I think it's, um, I don't know, they're painted as like modern day hippies, but pre-modern day hippies and maybe kind of similarly how times, not quite cyclical, but like, he was like, there's a modern resurgence of sexuality in Japan right now, and people think that like it's wild, but if you look back into our past during the Edo period, you can see that it's something that we've been at before. You can say the same about Americans, too. Yeah, my Everybody's no, talking about eating ass now, but modern, like, free modern love day, was a whole it's thing. It's fucking strange. Eating ass. Yeah, modern, modern day hippies have taken a bit of a turn. Yeah. Is, um... <laughs> yep. So does this make everything not canon, or was she just... Because she said, I made all that stuff up. Just the last part, I think. Because everything else we know is canon. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was about to say. It's like, what if this whole thing has just been us looking through her eyes of the lies she's writing in this diary? <laughs> no, I think she meant like all the emotional stuff she was doing. No. I mean, I do think she should tell them more about the samurai. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're, they're risking their lives for this mission. Yeah, we all want to know. should know more. What's his name? What's he look like? What if he's just a flower? <laughs> I wonder end. what's the relation like is there did we see some samurai save her from something or nope no it's just she's like I want to find this guy yep we don't know why my, my theory I'm still on it is that Doesn't it's exist. fake <laughs> yeah like or it could have been real. some dude traveling through town who walked through a patch of sunflowers and the, then the next samurai. day he walked through some lavender or some shit and now he's the lavender smell samurai? like lavender right like well, <laughs> the samurai was the sunflowers we smelled along the way. If it was fake, why would she write about it in the diary? That's true. Because, because she, she also wrote about. Up. But she wrote the about. The diary was fake. She knew no, no, not the whole writing. diary. Just at the end, she goes, "Ah, just kidding about like that last thing." But everything no, no, else, no. like we, they showed flashbacks of it. We saw that she was writing what happened. So right. why would she do all that? Like. She w- it would be to fuck with them. Yeah, right? that would be too crazy. That'd be the kind <laughs> of shit that, like, if I read your diary and you secretly added things that were disordered. Weren't, Oh, God. Oh, she yeah. literally did have Disorder. a diary and she knew they were going to read it and she put things in there. Disorder. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. She's on some fuck shit. Season one could have just started after this episode. <laughs> um, I think this, well, I guess if, if you, uh, this anime pairs well with like a blunt. A Chianti. Mm-hmm. A blunt. A and a, and a Fava nice, beans. Gonna, I would watch this multiple times. Like background yeah. and everything. Honestly, sure. I've seen it multiple times. Charcuterie. <laughs> yeah, see, like. Dude, charcuterie, a glass of wine and a blunt. And yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. I, I'd watch the, and a this bath. with a cheese like plate. Bath. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Cheese plate. Oh, I love this. Is I it because you're too that. big for them? Yeah. Yeah, same here. <laughs> uh, I will. It's like, so I think like Bebop, I remember loving, loving, loving Cowboy Bebop, but like mm. really sitting down and actually. Watching it to set into my memories was like the first time I watched it on the couch. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I, remember, I love Bebop. And in my head, I was like, I remember all these moments. But like, you forget about all the like the stuff in the middle and you hang on to like the story points. Mm-hmm. And for Samurai Shampoo, like I remember super well that first episode, a couple of stuff in the middle. And then I remember there's another episode coming up that I, I we're all going to love. And then I remember like the end of it. But I don't remember the resolution. Like I don't like. I remember that I liked it. I remember there was a vibe. The last time I watched it, or the first time I watched it all the way through, was in like 2020. And like, so there's so many other things on my mind. But I remember it was very comforting and I enjoyed the ride. I think it's mainly about how these three characters move through life. And like, you know, they're just, they found each other in, in this world, which was very unlikely. And now they're just trying to make the best of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like they're all taking a gap year <laughs> together. <laughs> Day yeah. in the life of episodes. Yeah. Just trying to find out how to get money. Yeah. Hustling in the movie night. A lot of gambling. Well, I don't know that there's a lot to say about this one. So, yeah, hope man. you enjoy these two episodes together. We're going to get on out of here and go get us some sushi. Oh Except my God, Marquette, I'm so hungry. She can't have I'm it hungry, 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 hungry. So, we're not getting sushi. I'm so, we'll see you at the next hungry, episode. Hungry, hungry, hippo. Bye. Bye. So, you guys remember the game Hungry, Hungry Hippos? Uh, obviously, yes, man. What a waste. It's- I play it every oh I am the Hungry Hungry Hippos. We've made along the way. Thank you for watching Samurai Shampoo. It's Surge here. I wasn't allowed on this couch. I was thrown out violently. But if you violently like this content, please violently click the like button, violently check out our Patreon, and violently watch Early Access and Uncuts. Big shout out to Anthony Hardy, Lucas, Martin Daxvold, Film at Rick, Joe Max, and Puppy. And we'll see you next time.